Multiple police agencies respond to Lake Fenton Community Schools today, but not for an emergency. NBC 25's Brittany Shannon in the studio right now to tell us how some districts are going above and beyond to prepare students and staff. Well, Bill, it's a scene no one wants to see. Dozens of police cars surrounding a high school. But in this case, it was all part of a training exercise at Lake Fenton Community Schools to further educate and prepare students in the event of an emergency. Some students at Lake Fenton Community Schools describe the day as intense. It's chaos. Everyone's up and running. Police cars surround Lake Fenton High School and Middle School Friday. Officers enter the building cautiously, but students and faculty say this is a good thing. There's police officers and staff directing us on where to go, so it made me feel a lot more comfortable. If that were to actually happen, I know what to do. This is all a training exercise, bringing together multiple police agencies to educate students and the first line of defense, teachers. We want to make sure our staff is feels comfortable if something ever were to happen. It's happening throughout the country, so we're just trying to make sure we're prepared. Michigan law requires schools to perform 10 emergency drills a year. House Bill 4713 would require schools to post on their website when they are holding fire, tornado, and other safety drills. Streamline process and makes it transparent and make sure the kids are being properly trained in the right uh, Situations. Something Lake Fenton Schools is already doing. This is kind of an add on to a lockdown drill in my eyes. House Bill 4713 passed through the State House. Representative Graves anticipates if passed, the bill would be signed into law by the new year. Bill?